good afternoon uh, Natalie from Noonan Residential hope you're doing okay so hot topic at the moment then uh, renters reform bill so this is obviously being widely talked about in the industry at the moment uh, government are passing a new um, renters reform bill which at the moment is 90 pages worth of legislation with about 180 pages of subcontext um, it's at first draft, it's gone through, so we're now um, getting more of an indication of what will actually happen when the white paper has been passed. So first round, um, we now know some more things of what are to be expected in the bill itself. Um, there's quite a few changes coming, um, mainly around how tenancies are set up in the UK and how we end tenancies. So I'm going to do my best to answer as many questions that people um, have already been asking me. I'll do a video on each. So um, renters bill is not in as yet. Early indications suggest that it will go through in this government. So they have 18 months basically. The Tories would like it to go through um, as part of the Conservative Party. Um, so um, the indication is that it will be passed and go to Royal Assent um, and be in place for the 1st of October 2024. Now this has not been um, passed and this is not the date they've been given but this is what the early indications state it will be. So I will do a quick brief rundown of what the main things are. So the first thing is they are abolishing um, section 21s. So this is all around increased security and more stability for tenants. So section 21s at the moment are served two months notice, two months before the end of a tenancy or two months on a periodic from a rent payment date to end a tenancy. That is being abolished, but that is not the only thing that's being abolished. They are abolishing the whole assured short term, uh, assured short term tenancies. So we are going back to insured tenancy, which was what it was. We are sticking um, with the House and Act of 1988, um, but we are going back to assured tenancies. Um, so that's the first thing. And the second thing is around how you would then, um, there'll be different grounds of possession. So the grounds of possession is how we would then get the property back for the landlord. Um, they've given us indications of what these will be, but again, until the bill is passed, we won't know what they are. Uh, early indications are that the uh, notice periods around certain grounds for um, rent arrears and things like that will all, will all change. So until we get the information, we don't, we're, we're going to speculate, but there will still be uh, grounds in place um, to evict tenants. It just won't be as it is now, which is a section 21. Um, the other big topic around this is pets. So I will do in-depth videos on this, but basically they are changing the rule around pets. So um, you will have 42 days in short to put in writing why you wouldn't want a pet. Um, there's going to be lots of reasonable things around this, but um, yeah, that's another big thing that's being talked about. Um, any questions or queries around the bill that you want to talk to me about directly, I'll do my best to answer. Um, email natalie at noonanresidential.com and uh, phone is 01480 573 109, but I will do a short video about each.